in a universe teetering between order and chaos. One duck defies the odds. Meet Howard, a couch-bound dreamer thrust into an alien city's frenzy. Here, the mundane dances with the bizarre, and Howard finds himself in a tangle of misadventures and powerful friendship bonds. Yet, as a shadow looms, threatening all he values, Howard is propelled into an interstellar conflict. What drives a laid-back duck to become a hero? Let's dive in. The movie commences. After a grueling day of work, Howard the duck trudges back to his humble abode, craving nothing more than to unwind in front of the television. As he settles onto the worn pillows of his couch, a sudden tremor rattles his apartment, jolting him upright. Bracing against the sofa, Howard finds himself inexplicably drawn from his familiar surroundings, hurtling through the vast expanse of outer space. In a bewildering twist of fate, he emerges from an unknown beam, landing unceremoniously on a tattered couch nestled in a dimly lit alley on Earth. Surrounded by curious onlookers, Howard's confusion mounts as he's pushed into a nearby club, only to be promptly ejected by a bouncer mistaking him for wearing a child's costume. Navigating the unfamiliar terrain, Howard's path intersects with a motley assortment of characters, from the panicked reactions of a homeless woman to a chance encounter with a biker gang. Each moment thrusts him deeper into the chaos of the night in this foreign planet. But amidst the turmoil, Howard finds himself drawn to the plight of Beverly, a songstress besieged by trouble. Despite his reluctance to intervene, his innate sense of justice compels him to step in, driving away assailants with a quick wit and a dash of bravery. As the rain pours down and the club fades into the background, Howard and Beverly share a fleeting connection amid the Ellie's shadows. Through their exchange, Howard learns of his unexpected arrival in Cleveland which he thinks is the name of the planet, which baffles Beverly. Moved by Beverly's kindness, Howard finds himself drawn into her world, a world filled with dreams of music and aspirations. Despite his initial disinterest, he finds solace in her company, sharing stories of his own struggles and aspirations. As the night wears on, Howard's exhaustion catches up with him, and he succumbs to sleep under the shelter of Beverly's hospitality. In the quiet of the night, Beverly discovers a glimpse of Howard's past through his wallet, adorned with a quirky duck motif family photos, and a duck-sized condom that she shyly smiles to. The next day, Beverly conceals Howard in a trash bag to shield him from curious onlookers. She then transports the duck to a museum where her acquaintance Phil, a scientist, works, hoping for assistance. Upon Phil's sighting of Howard, he initially rushes to inform his senior colleagues, but soon recognizes the potential breakthrough and decides to capitalize on it. Phil retreats to his office, locking the door to maintain exclusivity over Howard's existence. He fervently readies his laboratory and attempts to communicate with Howard in a mix of primitive language and duck vocalizations, much to the dismay of the museum guests. As Howard criticizes Phil, the tension rises, prompting Howard and Beverly to depart, though the zealous novice scientist endeavors to persuade them to stay. However, beneath his facade of selfless lies a selfish desire for popularity stemming from his belief that Howard represents an extraterrestrial ancestor, much like humans evolving from apes, in this case ducks evolving from an earlier species. Despite his efforts to sell this theory, Howard's companions remain uninterested. When a senior scientist reminds Phil of his janitorial duties, he hastily conceals Howard, realizing his subordinate role. As Howard and Beverly leave, Howard's startling appearance and speech elicit shock from bystanders. In his quest for acceptance, Howard seeks employment at the Borrow of Employment Services, encountering a recruiter renowned for job placements. However, she misunderstands Howard's intentions, assuming he's wearing a costume to evade work. Nevertheless, she assigns him a job as a water expert at a bathhouse. Howard reluctantly undertakes the role, distributing lotions and towels until he's tasked with repairing a malfunctioning jacuzzi. Despite his inability to swim, he's tossed into the water by the owner, who berates him for his incompetence. In retaliation, Howard subdues the owner and quits. As Howard traverses the city, eliciting both fear and mockery, news of duck hunting season terrifies him, prompting him to flee. He coincidentally finds himself outside the club where Beverly performs and, intrigued by her singing, decides to enter, overhearing the manager's plans to exploit Beverly. Howard intervenes, challenging the manager to resign. Despite the manager's attempt to evict him, Howard prevails in a physical altercation, leading to the band's liberation. However, unaware of the underlying conflict, the band retreats to their dressing room in disappointment. In a flurry of excitement, Howard soon enters the room, greeted by the eager yet slightly awkward welcome from the ladies. Before they can fully express their excitement, 
Beverly interjects with her concerns, dampening the mood momentarily. But just as the tension starts to build, Phil bursts in with a box of pizza, causing a momentary distraction. Amidst the ma'am, Phil reveals that Renette's boyfriend, the lab assistant, has been going on about Howard with some wild theories. The atmosphere gets tense as Howard warns him to steer clear. Sensing the tension, the girls quickly head out with Howard. In a bold move, hands over their money, proudly announcing that he's fired their previous manager, making him their hero for the night. In a comical chase, Phil grabs a feather from Howard before dashing off, promising to uncover alien secrets hidden in Beverly's apartment. With the chaos settling, Howard, displaying his musical prowess, impresses the singer, who eagerly offers him the role of their new manager. As bedtime approaches, Howard's playful banner about human anatomy sets the mood, with Beverly joining in on the jest, much to the dick's surprise. This sets up the tone for a hot night for both Howard and Beverly, but before fireworks can ignite, Beverly bids Howard good night with a kiss. However, the tranquil moment is shattered when Phil and his gang, Carter and Dr. Jenning, make their presence known. Shocked and bewildered, Howard and Beverly listen as the researchers reveal startling truths about their origins. As the truth sinks in, Howard realizes the urgency to return home. Racing against time, they confront the scientists, urging them to undo the catastrophic laser mishap. With hesitant promises from the scientists, plans are set in motion for a daring rescue. Yet, amidst the situation, Phil manages to persuade Howard to stay and chase fame. With a heavy heart, Howard bids Beverly farewell, knowing she's the only thing holding him back. Arriving at Dynatech, they are met with chaos and warnings of universe-altering consequences. In the midst of the turmoil, Jenning vanishes, leaving behind an unsettling possibility of summoning another unknown creature. This time, the scene takes a dramatic turn as the police swarm in to investigate. Howard finds himself under the harsh glare of interrogation, his costume stripped away to reveal the real duck beneath. The lieutenant wastes no time in slapping the cuffs on him, branding him an illegal alien. But Beverly, ever the loyal friend, orchestrates an escape plan, with Phil stepping in as a distraction. As they flee, the lieutenant issues a chilling command to hunt down Howard, with shoot-to-kill orders, painting him as armed and dangerous. On the run, Howard and the singer cross paths with Jenning, whose demeanor takes a dark and unsettling turn. Fleeing in Jennings' car, they're gripped by the doctor's growing paranoia, dodging disaster as Howard wrestles with a steering wheel. Their perilous journey takes an unexpected turn when Jennings' true nature emerges. His cryptic warnings of impending doom fall on deaf ears until his transformation into a sinister entity sends shockwaves through the group. Seeking refuge in a sushi joint, they're met with airy revelations from Channing, whose claims of being a dark overlord of the universe are initially brushed off as a joke. But as Jennings' eyes emit deadly lasers and ominous plans unfold, laughter gives way to dread. A frantic struggle ensues when the code key, crucial to summoning more dark overlord forces, falls into enemy hands. Howard and Beverly find themselves outnumbered and outmatched, fighting tooth and nail to reclaim what's theirs. As the situation unfolds, Beverly's desperate plea momentarily halts their assailants, but the reprieve is short-lived. As danger closes in, Howard and Beverly's fate hangs by a thread, their survival dependent on convincing an unstable Jenning to join their cause. But as the Overlord tightens his grip, Howard's valiant efforts are thwarted, leaving him helpless against the alien's sinister plot. In a heart-wrenching twist, Beverly is snatched away, leaving Howard to face his captor alone. With the odds stacked against him, Howard struggles to stay conscious, his world spinning into darkness as the Overlord's plans are unleashed. Trapped in a nightmarish web of deceit, Beverly's fate hangs in the balance, her only hope resting on Howard's battered shoulders. As the alien's energy wanes, a desperate bid for power ensues, unleashing chaos and destruction in its wake. In a final act of defiance, Howard rallies against his captor, but victory comes at a staggering cost, leaving him battered and broken, with Beverly's fate hanging in the balance. As chaos unfolds at the restaurant, the police swarm in, questioning the waitress as Phil and a patrol car become unlikely allies for Howard's daring escape. With secrets spilled about the Overlord's sinister agenda, Phil sets his sights on fixing a battered plane in the yard, despite Howard's protests. As dawn breaks, the refurbished plane takes flight, pursued by determined officers. Maneuvering through the skies, Howard and Phil race towards the research facility, their fate intertwined with Beverly's harrowing ordeal. Meanwhile, Jennings' ominous visit to a nuclear plant sets the stage for a terrifying showdown as the Overlord closes in on his captive prey. 
Despite Howard and Phil's airborne escapade, their troubles escalate with police hot on their tail. Simultaneously, the Overlord's display of power at a roadside checkpoint sends shockwaves through law enforcement ranks. Now, Howard and Phil's airborne struggle reaches new heights, with the Dick's daring maneuvers barely evading disaster. But as they approach the lab, tensions mount, with Phil's skepticism clashing against Howard's unwavering resolve to vanquish the Overlord's sinister plans. Inside the lab, a desperate scramble ensues to counter the Overlord's deadly scheme. With the clock ticking, Phil uncovers a potential weapon in the form of the Neutron Disintegrator, but their hopes are dashed as their sneak attack fails, plunging them into a desperate struggle for survival. As Howard charges towards the Overlord, a cataclysmic clash erupts, leaving destruction in its wake. Miraculously, Howard and Jenning emerge from the wreckage, only to face a new threat as the true extent of the Overlord's power is revealed. In a heart-stopping finale, Howard and his allies confront the monstrous Overlord, their resolve tested to the limit as they stare into the face of otherworldly terror. As Howard races against time, the monstrous grip of the Overlord tightens, threatening to engulf him in its sinister clutches. Desperate attempts from his friends are stopped by a barrage of electric shocks, leaving Howard at the mercy of the creature's menacing tentacles. With the laser countdown ticking ominously, Jennings' quick thinking provides a glimmer of hope as he passes an electric cutter to Howard, enabling his daring escape. Yet, the Overlord's relentless assault leaves Beverly and Phil in grave danger, prompting Howard to make a daring leap into the fray. Armed with the disintegrator, Howard unleashes a heroic barrage against the Overlord, shattering its monstrous form with a well-aimed shot. But with time running out and the threat of more Overlords looming, a crucial decision hands in the balance. As tensions mount, Beverly and Jenning debate the fate of the laser, torn between the risks of its destruction and the consequences for Howard's return home. With resolve hardening, Howard makes a split-second decision, opting to sacrifice the laser to save the world. In a breathtaking showdown, Howard's decisive action triggers a cataclysmic chain reaction, banishing the alien invaders back to their dark realm. As the dust settles down, Howard emerges battered but triumphant his bravery hailed by his grateful friends. After the turmoil subsides, a new chapter unfolds as Beverly's band rises to newfound fame, with Phil and Howard playing pivotal roles in their success. In a moment of unexpected hilarity, Howard's antics on stage steal the spotlight, leaving the crowd electrified and the bandmates in awe. As the curtain falls on their triumphant performance, Howard and Beverly share a heartfelt embrace, their journey marked by adversity and triumph. And as they look towards the future, Howard's transformation from reluctant hero to revered manager is sealed, leaving his friends in awe of his newfound courage and resilience. As the credits roll on the quirky adventure of Howard the Duck, we're left to ponder the journey of our feathered hero. Howard, an alien duck from another world, finds himself stranded on Earth, only to become its unlikely savior. Through his trials and tribulations, he teaches us that heroism comes in all shapes and sizes and sometimes, even with feathers. If you like this Moonlight recap, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more outrageous weekly recaps. Thanks for watching.